So uh, first question is asking, what is the square root of 6 in simplest radical form? So let's look at number 1 here. It's question 1. We're looking at square root of 6 in simplest radical form. So what we have here is we want the square root of 6. So we're going to draw the square root sign and we're going to put the 6 in underneath. And what they want us to do is to calculate the um, simplest radical form. Well, in this case, if you take out the factors of root 6 here, we know that root 2 goes into 6 and root 2 times 3 is going to equal 6, right? So in this case here, um, this here will be the simplest radical form of the um, of this radical here. So it's actually root 6 is actually the simplest radical form in this case here because we can't find any other factors that are not prime numbers. 2 and 3 are both prime numbers here, so root 6 is definitely the simplest radical form. However, what we can do um, in this solution here, what they did was they actually found the approximate value of what root 6 is. So let's take a look at the solution here. And um, what we can do is we want to find an approximate value for the square root of 6. So it's going to end up being a decimal because root 6 is not a perfect square. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a long division kind of method here. So we're going to put 6 as the uh, dividend here. And what we want to do is we want to find two numbers that square closest to 6. And in this case, it would be 2, right? Because 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9, but we can't go over 6 here. So we're going to put 2 and 2 here. We'll put 2 here. And then, so we know that 2 squared is 4, so we can put 4 here. And then we're going to subtract this to get 2. What we're going to do next is we're going to double this number. Um, so this becomes 2 times 2 here is going to become 4. And then we can add two zeros here as well. So we can, we can think of this as 6.0000. We're adding two zeros here. And then we're thinking of a, a number, um, a number from, sorry, let me make some, a little bit of space here. We're thinking of a number that's in a 40 digit that's going to be multiplied by the same number to get closest to 200. So you can think 41 times 1, 42 times 2. So let me take up my calculator and might be able to solve this a little bit easier here. So 41 times 1 is 41, obviously. Uh, 42, what's 42 times 2 would get me 84. 43 times 3 would get me 129. 44 times 4 gets, gets you 176, and 45 times 5 would give me 225. So 44 times 4 is the closest without going over to, uh, to 200 here. So we want to put four, a 4 here and also a 4 here. So this is going to be 0.4. 44 times 4 is 176. Subtract those two numbers, we get 24. And what we can do again here is we're taking this number, the last digit, we're going to double the number here. So this becomes now 48. And then we're going to add two more zeros here. And we want uh, one more decimal here. So again, I'm looking for a number here. Uh, these two have to be the same numbers that multiply closest to 2400. So let's do, I'm going to start from 481 times 1 is 481. 482 times 2 would be 964. 483. 483 times 3 is 1449, and then 48, 484 times 4 is 1936. And I believe that I can't do 48 times 5 because that just goes over by 25. So our number here is going to be another 4. So 484, and then 4, 484 times 4 is 1936. Again, we can actually keep keep doing this process over and over again to find out um, um, a, a, the, the other decimal number, but we usually stop at 2 here. So in this case, what we can then verify is that root 6 is going to equal basically approximately this number. So it's approximately plus or minus 2.44. Remember, every time we take a square root, we also have to do um, plus or minus to determine um, because both, again, both 2.44 and positive 2.44 plus times 2.44 is about 6, and negative 2.44 times negative 2.4 would equal 6 as well. So this solution is correct because the square root of 6 is equal to plus or minus 2.44, like we said. So the solution here is correct.